to Afghanistan. I want to bring in Wahid Monawar now. He is the former Chief of Staff for the Afghan Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, I want to make it clear that Mr. Monawar doesn't currently represent the Afghan government. But uh, thanks for joining us. Let me ask you, you've previously served with Mr. Karzai. You've just heard there from the Taliban spokesperson. Um, what do you make of all this? Excellent. Uh, thank you for having me. I think uh, we could, uh, one uh, thing that uh, the statement from Mr. Shaheen clarifies that he really has no understanding of the concept of Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. This thing has been forced on them, but he cannot really process what does it mean. He just said that that's not important. It is very important for the past two days, the reaction that I have received from uh, Kabul and throughout Afghanistan, people are quite disappointed that the, the name was used, the flag was raised. We have fought for the past 10 years against that. Uh, President Karzai has said that Afghanistan is open to all Afghans. If the Taliban are Afghans, the door is open to them. But no, they are the one who has created the violence. They have the, created the uncertainties. Do, they are the one who are representing the interest of Pakistan. This is this ingenuous statement coming from Mr. Shaheen. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised because he really doesn't understand what does it mean to be a part of Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan. Well, let me ask you, what do you make of the United States role in all of this, saying that uh, there weren't to be no talks uh, on Thursday as had previously been indicated? Um, and then in the last few minutes, we hear from our State Department correspondent, Jill Doherty, that talks are indeed scheduled with the Taliban in the coming days. Well, I, actually, this is a uh, this is a good uh, good news because we do need to have the talks. Talks are, are part of the peace building process. If we are talking to the Taliban, if we are talking to uh, to bringing all parties to find the, to seek a solution and compromise on issues, this is an excellent news. Uh, this is not the first time that the U.S. government has met with the Taliban. They have met with them last year, and then it uh, fell apart because the issues were uh, not solved. Uh, but uh, I'm optimistic about uh, uh, about this news. Uh, it's a good news. But I'm also really happy to hear the State Department spokesperson speaking uh, that the name will be taken down. That's uh, that will uh, resonate well with the Afghan people. They are. And what about the uh, Afghan government? I mean, what is President Karzai to make of all this? The talks are on. The talks aren't on. Um, where does he think that he's going to be able to make progress? Well, President Karzai, as I mentioned, had said numerous times that Afghanistan is open to all Afghans. If the process is to initiate that, because for the past 12 years, we really did not have an, an address where to go and talk to the Taliban. You know, the emissary came, a representative came to Kabul and assassinated the former president uh, in, in the name of a uh, peace emissary. So now they have an address. If something goes wrong, we can know, um, know where, where to go. There literally uh, is an address uh, in, in uh, Doha. Yeah, in this is, I think the, the, the entire process, the entire purpose of this is to have an address and to see what are the issues instead of uh, going back and forth and uh, okay. bringing uh, people that uh, are, really don't represent um, the, the program. We must leave it there. Wahid Munawar, thank you very much indeed for joining us, former Chief of Staff for the Afghan Ministry of Foreign Affairs.